testify. What if they find out who you are? One man to overthrow. We need to wake people up fast. You know, Manhattan has changed a lot since the 60s. There are a lot of big new glass buildings, uh, but there's a lot of it that is the same. So I've gone on trips to New York where I photographed a lot of old buildings. We have rebuilt a lot of buildings uh, in CG because oftentimes even the buildings that are there that are still, that are old, have like a very new storefront on the main floor. So, you know, there's like a Nike store and it's like, well, the rest of it's good, but we got to we got to change that. We built enough buildings that we can fill out a New York street or several and making it like a real space is very is is fascinating. And it's something that I don't think you often get the opportunity to do is is create this sort of history that we are being accurate to, but that didn't actually happen. The visual effects on the show are very ambitious. So we have some big things that we try to do. Sometimes we can do them, sometimes we can't. But usually what we try to do is make the most ambitious thing possible and execute it the best way possible. So, you know, we'd rather have something that looks really impressive and, and looks right than something that feels like it's only half-baked. So today we're doing something pretty big. We have a parade sequence and a big event that's taking place in New York City. And we're obviously not in New York City right now. We're in a parking lot. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be added. There's a lot of green screen work. Uh, there are a couple hundred background and we need to make it look like a crowd of thousands of people. So we're replicating them. We have a second unit filming people to enhance the crowd, basically. So I think that's really exciting. Realize they took your 